There are still several speakers to go in this emergency special session of the United Nations General Assembly on Ukraine. We expect to vote this Wednesday on a resolution that condemns Russia's illegal annexation of Ukraine's territory. The resolution also calls for Russia to pull its troops out of Ukraine and it calls for dialogue and diplomacy to bring an end to the war. The debate started on Monday. It resumed this Wednesday and dozens of speakers have taken to the podium. The vast majority have spoken out against Russia and emphasised the need to protect the UN Charter and the sovereignty of member states. Now, the resolution was penned by Western powers. They hope that it's going to get the support of two-thirds of the General Assembly. That's what it needs in order to be adopted. Uh, this is not a binding resolution, but it will reflect global opinion on the war. And the West hopes that it will show that Russia is isolated. The US envoy to the UN told the reporters that the United States is watching closely to see which countries vote no to this resolution. On Monday, uh, Russia called for a vote on whether or not this ballot should be public or private. Member states voted to keep it public, but the US will have noted that, for example, its ally Egypt was amongst those who asked for a private vote. Now, very few African countries have been amongst the GA speakers. They've been keeping a low profile, so their votes are going to be watched closely today. Many non-aligned countries have been reluctant to speak out against Russia publicly. Some are suffering from Ukraine fatigue. Others consider Russia an ally and others don't believe that a General Assembly resolution will help the world move towards a diplomatic solution. Russia argues that this resolution is politicised and that it will only make the UN more polarised. Uh, despite some countries' reservations about openly condemning Russia, it's still pretty clear here at the United Nations that the majority of member states are outraged by Russia's actions in Ukraine.